Edie Falco has played some powerful leading roles from the wife of the mafia boss in The Sopranos to a nurse suffering from an addiction and Nurse Jackie. Well, now Edie is starring in the film I'll Be Right There. She plays a busy mom trying to keep up with her complicated family and keep it together, and it is not easy. Take a look. Mark got thrown out of therapy. If I found another therapist, promise not to lie to them. I'd say yes, but I'd hate to have to lie to you. Is Sarah still driving you crazy? So pregnant that when I toss the bouquet, the baby might poke an arm out and try to catch it. I'm crazy about it. And your kids, they take advantage of you, and as soon as they need you, just run off. It's time to move on to the next phase of your life, like I did. Everybody keeps telling me, can I move on? Move on from my family? What about what I want to do? What is it that you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, you're all of us. You're you are all, all of, us. of us in that I'm tiny every clip. woman, I believe, is the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when that's, you read that yes. script, there must have been it something that resonated you. so deeply. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. It is that, uh, you know, the unsung heroes of uh, the people just trying to keep things going in their family life and in a personal they life and which should be the priority. Time. And, yeah, it's, all, it's where so it's, many of me and my friends are. Well, yes. it struck me when they were, she was like, what do you want? And you're frustrated, but the only thing that came out is, I don't know. And I know a ton of people who feel that exact same yeah. way. They don't know what they want. There isn't want. a lot of time to think about that. Yeah. You know, and there's so much else to be done. You know, and that's like, we sat down, the three of us, and we immediately started to talk about our children. Yes. And there's something in that, like, I, I, I mm -hmm. just think we put pressure on ourselves as women. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. When it comes to motherhood in a way that we yeah. maybe don't when it comes to jobs and yeah. other right. things. Right, absolutely so right. So was that, is this what this character does too? Kind of, although she really kind of is in her zone when she's dealing with her family. And it seems like it's what she loves to do. And she's living in a world where that almost doesn't feel like that's okay or it's not yeah. enough or there should be aspirations yes. for something greater. Oh. Um, and I think that's what moved me about this script. Is, is that is are there aspirations yeah. for something greater than that? I don't know. Yeah, know? that's a really a good question. Is she a helicopter mom or is she just a mom? No, mom? I think she's, she's just trying to keep just all the trying to keep plates in the air. Going. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, this we were talking too about how chapters are changing yeah. in life, and yeah. sometimes they're major. Like your kid goes off to college, and everyone right. talks about that chapter. But there are many chapters mm -hmm. that you probably felt with your own teenagers oh, where you're sure. like that phase is over and you almost kind of have to mourn that phase. I, nobody prepared me yeah, for that yeah. part of this. Like summers come now and my kids are teenagers, you know, and they don't want me around yeah. that much and they're not always very kind. <laughs> I'm told it's all normal, but all I can do is picture them in their little bathing yes. suits yes. and the little, you know, the candy necklaces yes. and they just want to be picked up and do the yeah. water slide. It, they, these kids, those kids are gone, yeah. They're gone forever, and nobody knew them but me. Like the, the kids don't remember themselves being at that. Yeah, age. yeah you're, yeah, you're it's the one. It's a real mourning for that period of time, even though I was way overwhelmed. Yes, but right. I miss the the beauty and the gentleness and the joy of those times. Well, let's talk about this phase in your life where you are. Forget the kids, forget the job, just you at this moment in your life. You, I'm sick. I just turned 60 um, whenever it was, a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. And you're you're the same age. I am older than you. Okay. <laughs> okay. But how does this feel in this moment being, being at this Better age? than anything ever has because wow. all of it is, it just feels more manageable. Things kind of shift to their rightful places. Oh, that's you know? interesting. Yeah. Uh, as far as how important they should be. Like, I spend a lot of time reading yeah. and mm. playing with my dog yes. and mm. actually having conversations with my kids, like people, mm. doing projects that move me instead of all the other reasons I used to pick, you know, the next thing to work on. I don't know. It feels absolutely right, you know. God, don't you love that? It's like your, your oh. North Star is so centered. It's, mm -hmm. I didn't you know. know what you love. I didn't know it would feel this good. I mean, and then you turn around and look at yourself and you're like, well, what is my mother doing in my mirror? <laughs> I mean, that's happening well, at the same time, but that's part of the acceptance of all of yes. us. And the Sopranos. We just did a thing on Pop Start where they said they picked the, uh, Rolling best. Stone picked the best episodes. TV shows, episodes of all time. And they went through I Love Lucy and the chocolate oh, eating, no through way. all the different things. And the Sopranos was in the top, top five. Oh, what, I think no. you guys will. But it just shows how much that particular show resonated. Yeah. And do you still feel that? I mean, because we just had this 25th yeah, anniversary yeah, sure. thing, it's still kind of in the, the zeitgeist yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that in and of itself is beyond my belief. But all I feel is gratitude about that, how easily I could have not 
been yeah. included in that if I decided not to go to that audition or, you know, to do something else during that time and how it's like uh, how lucky I am to be a part of something that has moved that many people. I yeah. feel just really lucky. Yeah, it really has. And you thought at the beginning that the show was actually about singers? Sure. <laughs> I mean, like, like the Sopranos. Yeah. Like, well, good. They're not going to call me for that. And that's <laughs> the end of that. And then when they did, I was like, oh, I don't think they realized that I'm... I can't help them here. <laughs> wow. Oh well, you've left a huge mark and you're still doing yes, it. Yes, you are. This is this yeah. movie is going to resonate with it so is. many. I know. I can't wait. And to make people it. laugh. Yeah. We I need hope that Which too. we and need. It's just about parenting and family and love and all the stuff that we're Life. living in while we're busy doing other things. Yeah. And all the things that really matter. Yeah. I think so. Thanks, Edie. So Thank I'll you. be right there. Thank you, Edie. Hits theaters today.